Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today in day 7, part 5, we will go over closure topics, escaping closure. So yeah, uh, let's start our uh, playground. This is here, I made a playground. And this time I named it closure 5 and I copied uh, all the, uh, you know, sample codes uh, here. Uh, inside the core, uh, you know, playground to check it out. Okay, so uh, when we go to our uh, uh, reference, which is coming from uh, Swift.org, from uh, language guide and the closure, uh, we we have uh, you know escaping closure here uh, as uh, you know the description by uh, Swift. Uh, dot org. So a closure is said to escape a function when the closure is passed as an argument to the function. Okay, but we have uh, still one but. But so but is called after the function returns. So this is the description of escaping closure. So when we say uh, closure uh, is said to escape then the closure is passed as an argument to the function but is called after function returns so when you declare the function that task a closure as one of its parameter you can write add escaping before the parameter type to indicate that the closure is allowed to escape so what uh, what is uh, what uh, you know that means? So, one way that uh, a closure can escape is by stored in a variable that is defined outside the function. As an example, below uh, you will see that many functions that start an asynchronous operation task. So asynchronous, as you know, that's something that uh, you don't have to wait for return. You can go and uh, continue uh, um, without waiting for a return. Uh, operation take a closure argument as a completion handler. So we have many of the functions doing this. The function return after it starts the operation. But the closure isn't called until the operation is completed. So the closure need to escape at this point to be called later. For example, here we go. So let's go uh, for our example here. So you will see that here we uh, declare an array from closures and we gave it uh, empty value. If you remember in, uh, I believe, day four, we uh, in collection. Uh, collections we went over array and we said how we can uh, make an empty array this is uh, the shortened way so function uh, here some function with escaping closure so we say okay completion handler as an uh, argument here with when you declare or parameter when you call inside the uh, function add escaping for this closure which came here so and then here you can call it other than that you can so let me remove this and here we will get error so that says passing non escaping parameter to function expecting an escaping closure parameter so I said fix it yeah put it that escaping for me Okay, so let's go and continue. So there's some uh, functions with escaping closure function takes a closure as its argument and add it to an array that's declared outside the function. If you didn't mark the parameter of, the of this function with escaping, you would get compiler error, as I showed you. So may uh, marking a closure with this escaping uh, means you have to refer to self explicit so when you mark it with this means you have to refer to self explicit within the closure for example 
in the code below the closure passed to some function with escaping closure is an escaping closure which means it needs to refer to self or uh, explicitly in contrast the closure pass to but for some function with non escaping closure is now is a non escaping closure which means it can refer to self implicitly okay so uh, what is the difference here we go so here you see this is the, the sum function uh, with non uh, escaping closure we just create a closure with same decision and here we just call it but with uh, function that without actually with escaping you say you see here we use escape and we can call this here but you know we need to declare this uh, you know outside so here we have one class we give it uh, value you know variable x with value 10 so when we do uh, function do something uh, we call this you will see that for with escaping we use self explicitly by this way but uh, for non escaping we use self implicitly we so we don't need to use self and here you will see how we run it so let's go to playground and run it so here you will see so when we uh, make an instance from some class and then so okay instance that do something and we print instant that x uh, it's print uh, you know it will be 200 because we do it explicitly but when we completion uh, as we do it implicitly uh, but with the completion handler that first it's gonna be 100 so because it's doing explicitly here we go so this was about uh, all about uh, escaping closure uh, we will add uh, later some uh, video to uh, any title uh, with more example if you uh, didn't get that but uh, you need to uh, you know listen several times this video to uh, get it completely before you go to next part which is about the auto closure because in auto closure we're gonna use escaping closure a lot okay that's it for today i hope you like uh, the video if you like it please make sure to give it thumbs up and also don't forget to be subscribed for more video all, all coming every day and if you have any question please ask in comment below i will be more than happy to help you and uh, answer your uh, questions and i wish the best for you have a good one bye bye